Yes. Um, this research investigates the relationship between two strategic decisions, contract manufacturing and supply chain integration. Contract manufacturing that allows the manufacturing firm to outsource some of its manufacturing processes, uh, such as assembly operations. This manufacturing method has become the de facto standard. Manufacturing firms have also increased investment in supply chain integration with part suppliers and customers in order to create seamless flow of information, materials, products, and services across organizational boundaries. Supply chain integration is a very well-studied topic in the field. Numerous studies examined how supply chain integration affects the firm performance and showed strong support for its impacts on a firm's operational performance outcomes in terms of quality, cost, delivery, and flexibility. However, its impact on financial outcomes has been lacking. Therefore, it remains unclear why lower production costs achieved through supply chain integration are not translated into profitably gains. The premise of this study is that firms experience different levels of cost benefits from supply chain integration depending on their manufacturing systems, in-house versus outsourced production. Think about it, compared to those with in-house assembly responsibilities, Firms relying on country manufacturing help to coordinate and control information and activities across a wider span of organizational boundaries involving not only part suppliers, but also contract manufacturers. This inherent and elevated complexity associated with contract manufacturing leads to trade-offs between cost savings from contract manufacturing on the one hand and investment in supply chain management and supply chain integration on the other hand. So this study empirically demonstrates these cost trade-offs um, between these two important strategic decisions. Okay, um, this research uses a publicly available archival survey data collected in 2013 from Korean manufacturing firms as a part of a large-scale research program um, you know, done by the Korean Productivity Center at the Korea Ministry of Trade, Industry, and Energy. I chose this data set for the study because contract manufacturing has a lion's share in the Korean manufacturing industry. About half of Korea's uh, manufacturing industry is comprised of contract manufacturers, including mostly small and medium-sized companies. Unique feature of this data set is that they, uh, they were collected in a mixed response format from diverse respondents within each firm, therefore enhancing the rigor of our research by reducing common method bias. Since the respondents were not aware of this study or our research framework at the time of data collection, Response bias can be also reduced. Supply chain integration is a complex phenomenon that takes place in multiple domains of activities with, the, uh, with various organizations. So, for example, supply chain integration activities can be distinguished based on their focus on product development or on process improvement. Integration activities can also be differentiated by partnering organizations, either working with the suppliers or with customers. We argue that integration activities incur different levels of coordination and control costs depending on the purpose of activities and partnering organizations. So this study separated supply chain integration activities into four different dimensions product integration with the suppliers or customers, and process integration with the suppliers or customers. Using the responses of 322 firms that utilizes, utilize both supply chain integration and contract manufacturing, we disentangled each dimension's contribution to firms return on contract manufacturing which is measured by the net income over contract manufacturing expenses. This measure captures the efficiency of contract manufacturing. Lastly, but not least, to address the endogenic issue, 
we established one year time gap between our independent and dependent variables. So this is kind of summary of uh, our methodology. Our findings suggest that integration activities, depending on their focus on either the, pro on the products or the process, generate different levels of benefits as measured in terms of return on contract manufacturing. While integration activities focusing on product development tend to impede a firm's return on contract manufacturing, integration activities focusing on process improvement, especially with the key suppliers, contribute to its contract manufacturing efficiency because of different levels of coordination and control costs associated with each task. These findings challenge the implicit assumption about the universal benefits of supply chain integration across different manufacturing systems and provide insights into the relationship between supply chain integration and manufacturing decisions. In addition, our analysis revealed somewhat contrasting insights regarding the effects of customer and supplier integration on contract manufacturing efficiency. We initially expected that focal firms incur similar levels of cost for controlling opportunistic behavior coming from both customers and suppliers when considering their involvement in either products or process integration. Yet, our results suggest that integration activities involving customers are actually more costly than the same activities involving suppliers. It is probably due to the difficulty of using contractual or monitoring mechanisms to control for customer behavior. In summary, this study uncovers the complex trade-off between coordination and control costs that underlie transition costs of integration activities thereby, I think, helping um, our theoretical understanding of the relationship between supply chain integration and performance outcomes. Great question. Although supply chain integration and contract manufacturing each have the potential to reduce operating costs, the mechanical combination of these two strategic decisions does not guarantee synergistic effects for all integration activities. Firms that heavily rely on contract manufacturing need to focus their integration efforts on process improvement with the key suppliers rather than on product development initiatives in order to achieve the desired cost savings from contract manufacturing. At the same time, firms need to dedicate in-house production capacity to new product development so as to maintain the benefit of production integration with key customers in terms of operation outcomes and also to minimize coordination and control costs. Understanding the specific cost trade-off associated with each of the four integration dimensions can help managers make supply chain integration and manufacturing decisions for synergistic effects. Uh, by developing the most appropriate roadmap to achieve desired outcomes given limited resources. With our investigation, we have disentangled this dynamics.